fish are such an important part of our heritage. And without them, I don't really think we're complete. The Yankee Fork watershed used to produce a lot of steelhead and, and Chinook salmon and doesn't anymore. It's been 70 plus years since the last major mining effort took place in the Yankee Fork. And the land and the river still haven't recovered and the fish populations haven't recovered. On the upside, it's something that we can fix. These projects that we're doing, once you get them on the ground, the river not only has the habitat, but it has the ability to function. We can fix the whole thing here. It's amazing to me the amount of work and effort that the first uh, you know, prospectors, homesteaders, and miners put into developing areas in this country when they first came here. We have a lot of legacy artifacts from when we were doing a lot of mining and timber harvest in the Yankee Fork. The Yankee Fork Gold Dredge was an amazing feat of human ingenuity at the time. It recovered some gold out of the Yankee Fork and it ran for over 10 years. The machine used buckets to basically dig up the entire river, turn it upside down and pull all the little pieces of gold out of it. Historic mining, timber harvest and other activities have had a big impact on fish habitat in the Yankee Fork. These actions have altered stream channels, reduced large wood and eliminated fish habitat. And as a result, the ability of the Yankee Fork to support fish has been reduced substantially. There is a lot of work to be done in the Yankee Fork. There's no way this could be done without this collaborative effort and everybody working together, drawing on each other's strengths. In about 1998, I came here on a camping trip and I drove up the valley and saw all the dredge tailings. And I can't believe that that happened in Idaho. And I thought, you know, somebody should really do something about this. <laughs> and in 2011, I got the opportunity to participate in doing something about that. There was three or four ponds that were left over from when the dredge had gone through. We basically took the dredge tailings that were in that area and pushed them into the pond. The dredge tailings are gone, the ponds are gone, and now there's a functional side channel that the fish use. We create the habitat and then we look and see if there's fish there and that can be immediate. Our goal is to create an area that can grow fish as big as possible and as healthy as possible so that we're sending the best fish we can and the highest number we can downstream. When streams flow through forested systems, some of the trees end up in the stream channel and we call those trees in the stream channel large wood. To be honest with you, it's a little stressful. The helicopter has to be working, the excavator has to be working, the ground crews have to be working. So it can be a little stressful trying to pull all of that off, but it's so exciting. We're making a huge difference for the fish. The West Fork Confluence Restoration Project, that was the big one. <laughs> that was the project that we all knew was going to be the one that would restore a portion of fish habitat that was possibly the most impacted in the entire Yankee Fork drainage. So what we'd like to do with, with all of the rock here is incorporate it to the extent we can back into the project. 
We're not done in the Yankee Fork, not by a long sight. As much as we've accomplished, there's still so much work to do. And we're going to have to continue to work really hard with our partners and the public and continue to grow support for fixing this broken river. In 10 or 20 years, when we've maybe crossed a lot of the restoration projects off of the bucket list, what you'll see is not just a couple of individual projects on the landscape, but you'll see a whole river that has pretty much you know, had restoration from hopefully top to bottom. It's interesting to imagine how it used to be and work on a process that'll hopefully get us back to that point where we have high numbers of fish again. As soon as the fish come in, you know that you did something right. I think it's important that those of us that live in Idaho and in the United States know the natural resources that we've inherited. We need fish in order to have our world go around right. They just have this area to live in, so and we want to try and make all the animals have their best chance. Actually counting 10, 20, maybe even 100 little fry, it's, it's pretty exciting seeing these fish. It means that there's reproduction going on in the stream, and with reproduction means more fish. Certainly fish is one of the big reasons that we're engaged in this effort, but really what we're doing is we're restoring a watershed. That means clean water, it means a better place for people to come and recreate, and overall a, a healthier system that we'll leave to future generations. Salmon and steelhead still come back to the Yankee Fork every year. It's not nearly the numbers that used to return to the Yankee Fork, but that doesn't mean there isn't hope.